in this Cypress tutorial, we are going to see how to work with drop down list in the Cypress web automation testing. So, there are three ways to select the drop down value. First one is by using the index, we can click on the drop down value. And second one is visible text. Third one is by using the value, we can select the drop down value from the drop down list. Now, let's look at the manual scenario. Then we will automate it in the couple of minutes. So I will navigate to this particular URL that is the example.cypress.io and followed by that commands and actions. If I scroll a little bit down, we are having the one drop down list. So from this particular drop down list, we will be selecting the any of the values by using the index, visible text and value. Now let's go to the VS code. Let's quickly create the one JavaScript spec, spec file. So here I'll say drop down test dot cy dot js. So here I have created a JavaScript spec file and simply I will copy the one of the test from the other JS file and I'll paste it here. So I will delete all other stuff which are not required. And here I will update the test suit name. So here I'll say drop down, drop down list suit. And here I will update the test name as drop down list test. So that's it. So firstly, we will navigate to the this particular URL. So I will copy this URL. And I will go to the VS code. So I will add the URL here. So by using the visit command, so simply we are navigating to the given URL. And after that, so we have to inspect the this particular drop down value. So that is a drop down list element. And if you see here, so this has the select tag. So firstly, we have to identify this select tag. So in my case, I'm identifying the this particular select tag first by using the class value so simply i will use the dot followed by that i am specifying the so let me scroll a little bit down so this first seven elements are matching with the script and after that at last it is matching with the our drop down list right so let's take this particular class no need to worry about the other first seven matches so it is matching with only one element that is the drop down list so simply i will use the cy dot here i'll say get so i will add the selector here and after adding the selector so simply i am calling to the method called select so here i can pass index visible text or I can pass the value. So let's see the first index approach. And if you see this particular drop down list, so which has the four values, right? The first value is selected fruit and the second value is apples, oranges, bananas. So based on the index, first we will select the drop down value. So here zero is nothing but the selected fruit and one is nothing but apples and two is nothing but the oranges and so on. Say for example, I want to select the apples. So here I need to pass the index as the one. So simply I will pass the index as one here. So that's it. So this is by using the index approach. We are selecting the drop down list value. So that's it guys. Now I will go back to the Cypress test runner and here I will open the my js file so currently it is loading the tests and if you look at here so it is started executing the test also and if you see the right side screen so it has selected the apples right so if i refresh this particular page so default value is different so if you see here, so this is a default value. So we have selected the apple from the drop down list by using the index. 
so now let's try to select the so this time we are going to select the oranges so in this case i need to pass the index as so this is 0 1 and 2 to select the oranges i need to pass the index as 2 so simply i will pass the index as 2 here and that's it i will come back to the test runner and then i will run the test and if you see here so it has selected the oranges now let's see the second approach how you can pass the visible text and if you see this particular drop down list so simply you can pass the visible text here say for example i want to pa i want to select a bananas right simply you can pass the bananas directly in the select method so i will copy this particular part and i will comment it as of now so this time we are going to select the bananas by using the visible text so here i'll say visible text so that's it in the single quotation i will pass the visible text so here i'll say bananas so that's it so let me remove the another comma here so this time we are going to select the bananas from the drop down value so by using the visible text so here i rerun the test and if you see here bananas got selected and so this is the second approach now let's look at the third approach by using the value how you can select the drop down value so here i'll say value and if you inspect this particular element right so here you will get the list of options tag and in this option tag you will be seeing the, the one attribute called value to select the particular value say for example if i want to select the oranges so i need to pass the this particular value attribute value here so let's select the oranges so simply i will copy this value attribute value and i'll come back to the vs code so here i will pass the value from the html details so that's it guys now i will rerun the test once again so this time we are going to select the oranges so if you see here oranges got selected and also our test is getting passed and similar way let's try to select the some other value this time so here i will try to select the apples this time so i will pass the value attribute value and that's it and if i rerun the test so our test will work fine and we are able to select the apples this time and also our test is getting passed so this is how you can work with the drop down list in the cypress web automation testing